Let's have a look at this very strange looking syntax in Matplotlib and what do they actually do. So here, what you can see, you can see two graphs. So how did we get to these two graphs using this weird looking syntax? So this function matplotlib over here, it takes in the parameters for how many rows, how many columns of graphs you want. And then you might be wondering what in the world is this last parameter? What does it actually mean? And this is one of the strange things. If this means to select the last plot that you want the matplotlib library to work on. So by calling this plot function, it needs to know where it needs to draw the line. So here we specified one. Because we have two plots over here, we wanted to select this one and start drawing the data or plotting the data that we want it to draw on the graph. Now the second line over here you can see is pretty much the part over here. So this part is the same as this part over here. But this changes. This is two and this is one. So what's happening is it's now selecting the second graph, which is over here, and going to use the plot function on that second graph, which is over here. So when you run the code, what happens is the data, this data gets drawn on this graph because you provided this index, and this data gets drawn on here because you use the second index of the graph or the plot that you want to draw on. So this is the concept of subplots in Matplotlib. And you can easily change this. So you can see currently the second one goes up to nine and the first one goes up to six because that's where you know our data is but we can swap swap it and we can say actually this data the one with the six draw on our second graph over here so we will use two over here and this data here draw it on our first so now if i were to run this what you'll see is it will swap the position of the graph so if i run this and you can now see six has become over here and nine is over on on this first graph over here because we said draw the data this data onto the first graph and we said draw the data over here which goes up to six onto the second block so this is the strange looking syntax explained so just remember rows columns and index of the graph that you want to select